hey hi friends welcome to today's video so today we are going to discuss about logging in our app that we are going to build the logging is one of the important thing that uh, we should use from the very beginning when you are developing the application it helps in multiple ways let's say that when you are debugging something and you want to see the output of any object or value of any object or what the response you are getting from the server uh, which particular method uh, actually it print it goes to f condition else condition there are a lot of scenarios right and when we want to visualize this what we do in most of the cases that we put a print state now there are a lot of logging mechanism that we can use and then uh, even uh, we can use uh, some condition in the print also we can write a custom print where it will print only in the debug in and it would not print in the production that also is possible but in this video i'm going to focus on a, a logging uh, third party framework which is called uh, swifty weaver now there are a lot of uh, different ways and different third parties available even the apples provide a framework called os log that also we can use i find this framework uh, much uh, better and easy than the os log uh, in terms of the functionality and in terms of the way it gives me the log like if you see here it prints with uh, um different uh, symbol hard symbol and the function number the line number from where you are actually printing the log and it really helps in deciding that where this thing is or where particular thing is happening okay now how can we use this so it's very simple uh if you see the installation thing we can use through karthi we can use through swift package manager and also through cocoa pods okay so let me copy this link and we'll go to project package dependency and then i will use this library and then just add the package and then it will import this swift package into your project okay now if you see this swift package has been imported into our project now how can we use it now if you see again the definition uh, on how to use it you have to create a log object and then you can call something like this okay now let me copy this and uh, go to our app so we can go to our content view and let me delete this statement and here i can write this and then i don't want to use os log i'm using this third party framework okay now it's not giving any error so now my log object is ready and then let me just print out the same uh, thing what they are printing and let me run the app now see i left one space of swift client started giving me error anyway i'm going to delete it but let me just fix it for a time being now you can see that uh, it's printing perfectly like uh, from where we are calling we are calling it from the content view uh from where it is getting called it is getting called from line number say 52 53 so see it prints everything very perfectly uh because i deleted one line that's why you can see one line, line mistake here and then with easily the symbol let's say that if i have to just filter out with error so i can even just do a filter from here and and only see if there is some error right but uh, this works fine but this is not a right way right well, now why i don't say right way because you now when we started this project we discussed that we'll do this in a proper way in a better architecture right and here what i'm doing i'm injecting the dependency of this uh, third party swifty weaver directly into my content view and it's so that if i have uh, 200 or 300 content view i have to write this code everywhere so this approach is not good let's say that in the future if i have to move from this framework to some other framework or from some os log to the apple's own framework then i have to change in all those files and that's so not when you are using any third party try to restrict that third party to a single class don't just use it in multiple classes right so what i can do i can create a file here called uh, let's say busy logger okay so i'll name it as
okay so the work of this class will be to log my uh, log into the using this third party framework safety weaver that we are using so this code ideally has to be here right so let me create a class and then call it as this busy logger and then here this particular variable and we can take all these functions also from here to here okay and okay and uh, let me import my framework here okay now this error goes away now one way is that I can actually use busy logger dot log uh, and then call this matter verbose but again if I have to access this method from content view again I will have to import this framework there also and that's what I want to avoid I don't want to import anything uh, outside this busy logger class right so what we can do we can define um, some method here let's say for example I can write function and let's take the same name and for time being let's take a message of type string okay and let me remove this all this thing okay if now if I see there is no message argument here so let me just remove this hope this should work yeah and here as well here and here okay so now my uh, busy logger class is ready and uh, what we have to do we have to call this function right so now I can go back here again and create a object of busy logger and then I can call this dot let's say debug and the message is let's say debug message similarly if you want to call it uh, uh, error you can call the error function okay now one thing if you see that now if I remove this import from here this will not give me any error okay it will run perfectly fine because now my view is not directly dependent on the Swifty Weaver framework that we are using but this still has some issues what is this issue that first thing is that now you can see that this print error message because we are filtering with error but I really see it's printing both debug and error that means my functionality is working fine but I'm injecting this dependency directly into my view okay and uh, this is just inside this uh, function not even in this view if I have five function here or if I have view model again I need to create this at multiple places right now one option to solve uh, is that instead of using um, like uh, creating an object we can convert it to a singleton right like I can write a singleton class for this and then I can access it from anywhere I don't need to create uh, this object at multiple places now singleton is, is one of the design pattern which we try to avoid as much as in iOS now how to finally use it that I, I'll cover into my next video that whether I'm going to use singleton or whether I'm going to inject through dependency in each of the view model or view that will be a part of next video but let's first try to see whether this class is perfectly fine or not now the first thing is that I can still access this logger from outside right now that is not required so the first thing is that I should make this variable as private that's the first thing because this doesn't need to be accessed from outside here I'll create a protocol and let's say call it as busy logger type okay and then all these functions that I have defined actually here will become a part of this protocol okay five 
let me write one by one let me solve this shift length warning also okay now what this class will do this class will confirm to this busy logger type now if we have if you have to write the test cases you can create a mock uh, busy logger and test for that whether the function is getting called or not now here what we need to do is instead of not creating this busy logger uh, object directly i will be creating it through this particular interface so that if i have to mock it i can do that as well so now here i'll come back to my view and then i'm confirming to this interface now and then i'm creating this object so now my busy logger class looks good it is confirming to this protocol having implementing all this uh, uh, function but one thing what i still don't say in my message is that uh, this message are not printing the the function and the class and the line number that it was printing before right so for that what we have to do is that when you were calling this uh, from the actual if you see here right now also it is printing the class name function name line number but it is taking the implementation from here because finally we are calling the logger at line number 36 32 and it is taking this uh, class and the line number we want it to be from the call view is actually calling this like we want it to be on a peer of the content view and the line number 43 and 44 right now how can we do that so for that what we can do we can modify our function so instead of having just message we can have here file and we can have here uh, function also and we can have here line number also okay and let's make all the function with underscore so that we don't need to pass any of the uh, argument when we are calling this function okay and let me just copy and paste okay so now if you see i have implemented all the functions and uh, after changing all this argument and now one thing which you see difference here that instead of not directly just passing the message i'm also passing the file function and the line so when you pass the this file that means the argument which is coming from here so this will actually give you the the line number the function name of the calling instead of every time just printing the busy logger okay now let me run it and see what happens now the build is failing uh, and it is asking you to implement other parameter also that i have included now i don't want those function line number because that will unnecessarily make my debug or logging process more complex right now why it is happening now to understand that let's first remove this interface here let's directly create the object of class now when you directly create the object of class this time it doesn't give you any error and if you see here in the log it is printing perfectly the message the class name the line uh, everything right now if you see here uh, if you go to the definition the class is implementing the function with the default value and that's the reason when you directly create the object of the class it is not asking you to pass any other parameters but we have to to talk through interface right we don't want to have any sort of tight coupling now i that's the reason that i put here this uh, interface and then create the object so that in the in the next video when we want to use singleton or any other design pattern to further improve it it will help us now how can we solve it so one thing is that you cannot have a default argument in any uh, protocol okay now what we can do then if we don't have any default argument then we can use extension of it so we can write the extension of this 
protocol and then and what we can do we can implement the same method here what I have implemented inside this class I will have the same method here but we don't want to call this log because we don't have this object right so I'm just removing this and what do you need to call? You need to call the same function that this protocol is having. So here we have to call this verbose and then just pass the same message, pass the file, pass the function and pass the line. Okay. And same thing I'll copy and paste it in the debug in the info and I can remove this warning and even the error and let me call this debug this call it as info and now let's compile it one more time okay now if you see it's giving you the proper class name where it is getting called and the line number that's all for today's video. In the next video, we'll see that how we can use this busy logger in a much better way so that we can use this and access it freely throughout the app instead of creating this instance multiple times. Thanks for watching. If you have not subscribed to the channel, then please do subscribe. Thank you.